you are entering this race, entering this conversation uh, at a very interesting time in history, a very interesting time, even in our our, our current uh, political uh, a crisis. And I'm talking specifically right now about what's going on in Gaza. Uh, since October 7th, there's been uh, what I would consider a genocide in Gaza. Uh, and the United States has been not only uh, sort of uh, silently complicit, but actively complicit through weapons, through defense systems, through, uh, through, through diplomatic protection, through political protection at the, at, in terms of international uh, legal bodies, uh, you know, watching the U.S. veto ceasefire resolutions at the U.N. Security Council, all the stuff is happening. What does a proper and principled stance on Palestine look like? Not as an activist, not as a, not as a, uh, an observer, not as a, even as a scholar, but as vice president and president of the United States. What what would the proper approach to Palestine be? So let me say first that you know, brother Mark, you've been one of the most courageous, outspoken, um, divinely guided human beings in this fight. And um, I look to you often for where we should stand on things. I think that you embody um, the truth of who we've been as Black people around seeing ourselves and the struggles of folks um, other than ourselves, um, but seeing parallels, right? Um, what we're witnessing in Palestine feels similar because it is similar, right? When we're witnessing, um, even before October 7th, right? Oh, yeah. The largest open air prison in history, right? We're witnessing family separation. And sometimes I remember when we would talk about family separation with regard to the so southern weird. border, I would say that feels familiar because Black families have always been separated. It resonates because we know what it's like, what natal alienation means, right? Um, yeah. And so I think that the only thing we can fight for is not just to cease. We still say ceasefire now and we want a permanent ceasefire. But we also have to say free Palestine, right? Yeah, so yeah. this did not start October 7th. This started more than 75 years ago, right? When someone came into someone else's home, took it, and then dehumanized the people who were there and said that this is no longer your home. And so we need a free Palestine. And I think that is the only solution. And I know Dr. West feels the same that I do. Um, that that's what we must fight for. We have to fight for a free Palestine. 